So one of the things I want to take a look at is let's actually see this for a second. You notice how I've got uh, int uh, x 10 divided by 0. Now again, this is perfectly fine. Java doesn't freak out about this at all. And when I run this, what's going to happen is I'm going to get an error. I'm going to get a runtime error. My code actually does run for a second. So system.out.print ln dividing by zero. God. Again, that just happened. Notice what I, notice what we're seeing here. I'm dividing by zero. That print statement happens, but the second I try and get to my code where I have an error message, it crashes. So what do I do? What can I build around this? I can build that try catch block around this. And now if I put this line of code inside of the try, Oh, make sure you spell your exception correctly. Duh. Gah. Notice how it, it compiled perfectly fine. I run it, and notice how it didn't do anything. Uh, I, you notice how I printed dividing by zero, and it did it, and nothing. Well, that's because we don't have anything inside the exception uh, section. So, but, uh, how, you know, it was really actually kind of nice to see this error all of a sudden. You know, I, I, I actually kind of prefer that to the crashing and doing nothing. So what we can do is we actually have a few different commands that we can work with. I can actually use something called sprint, uh, uh, print stack trace, which is actually what we see when we uh, kind of get a crash. We can actually do something like get message if there is a message being passed on, or we can convert that error, that exception right there, into a string. So we've got a few of those. So let's see system.out.println e.getMessage. We compile this up again. You can see now what it did was it actually just gave me the message that it crashes with. It doesn't tell me what type of exception this is. It doesn't do any of that. It just says, oh, here's why I crashed, dividing by zero. All right. What happens if I turn this into a uh, two-string? Let's see what happens with the two-string. Oh, well, we get java.lang.arithmetic exception. I at least get that part. Uh, division by zero. Again, what about print stack trace? Ah, I want you to take a look at this. Print stack trace, it's got a void return type. So I actually don't put it inside of a system.out.println. It's actually going to have system.out.println in that method. So again, we compile it perfectly fine. And now you see we get that error message. I'm forcing Java to get that error message for me. Now I can do all types of things. If I, instead I go, oh, hey, instead of doing division by zero, do this. And uh, let's actually pop it out. So int x, boom. I'm going to attempt that, and then I'll do that. System.out.println, the quotient or the, the math equation eval you added it to blank x. Now again, because I'm compiling this up and I'm catching my error, I'm catching my error. Instead of my computer program just shutting down forever, what happens is it's going to, in this case, attempt to run x, well, it declares x, attempt to convert, uh, to assign x, uh, do 
you know, in, uh, division by zero, it's going to attempt to do division by zero. It's going to catch that exception, and that exception is then in turn going to say, oh, well, in that case, do this instead. And so when I run this, you will notice I get division by zero. That's the first thing I'm printing out. And I'll, let me just scroll this up for us. There we are. I'm doing Division by dividing by zero, I'm getting that. Then all of a sudden I'm attempting to do this. I can't, so I catch, I print the error, and then I say, oh well, here's the math equation, which is x, x being 10 divided by 1.